Um, yep. Okay. So I got this one. I got that one. We got one person up in here. I don't know who it is. Um, let's see. What's this? Yep. Got that. Okay. So I'll give y'all a few minutes. We ain't got the music playing right now. Um, <clears throat> hope everybody enjoyed their Thanksgiving holiday. I know we did. We really did. Um, got to go visit some of Rob's family in Louisiana. Some of my extended family. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a lot with my hands. No, I'll just reach up and do it when I need to do it. I'm going to need to add something in. Okay. And I got viewers on the YouTube channel and I got viewers here. So um, I will let it be known that uh, uh, this episode, we are going to have a lot of interaction going on as much as you guys interact. We're going to interact back. It still pertains to our journey. Um, after this episode, there will be uh, another story that we're going to tell, which will still be on the NNA Facebook page. After that, everything is going to go over to the YouTube page because a lot of things will be the shift and change of what's going to happen, you'll understand why it'll be on the YouTube page. Um, but I will say I do appreciate the the views and stuff. I looked today and one video got like 700 views on YouTube, the other one like 900 and something. So it's it's being it's doing its job as far as um, reaching out and grabbing people since my phone is preoccupied let me see something um yeah so normally i give it to around 17 and then i start talking <clears throat> i try to give people a chance to go ahead and um join the um the live so that they don't miss out and yeah i still gotta text my mama she be like, I didn't know. <laughs> Let me text her from Rob's phone. No drink, no drinky drink today. Let's see if she responds. All right. Hey, y'all. Hey, Turt. Hey, P. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Toya. Got like seven people. Normally, once I get to talking, then it's more people that'll join in and whatnot. So, that was fun. And I hope all y'all that's in here, whoever stays for the duration, it shouldn't be that long today. It shouldn't be an hour. Probably, I'm going to try not to make it an hour, but once you get to talking, things just happen. So, yeah, hopefully. Oh, no. We get this taken care of in a timely manner. So, I got that up. I'm going to try something right quick and see if I can get this up. Then I'm about to go ahead and get into it. I'm about to go ahead and jump into it. I ain't going to wait all day um, or everything. All right. You ready? Forget that. All right, you ready? Me? Yeah. You want to go yeah. get some juice? Something. All right. Hold on. One last thing. It would not let me tag my freaking page, but whatever. I'm not going to trip. Whatever. I'm not going to trip. So, anywho, um, <clears throat> if you've watched the other uh, lives that we've done, we um, 
touch bases and gave some details, some very particular details about the stuff that occurred. You know, everybody knew the icing on the cake, but nobody knew the ingredients it took to make that. So um, we went into detail and gave y'all some of the stuff that happened, some tear joking, tear jerking moments, things you didn't know that occurred. And we got we got um, all the way up until the last episode. We touched about Nova, the hospital, the hospital. details, the experience, what happened, um, which what we're about to get into, which I call this episode situation ships because a lot changes. And I didn't want to just jump right into it because y'all still would be missing details. I didn't want to jump into because everybody know we did a, a, did continue IVF, but there's other stuff that happens in the background. And this episode is really for, um, I, I, I want to use the word awareness, I guess, awareness and, and some of the do's and don'ts and, and things that we had to deal with of of anybody in our situation similar to or whatnot, because you don't want to seem like a butthole intentionally or non-intentionally. Okay, so after our whole hospital um, situation and in Korea. The, in Korea, losing Nova and all that stuff, remember we told y'all that we were 10 days out from leaving. We were 10 days out. Um, so we still came home. We didn't stay. But I can remember um, getting out the hospital. You know, they didn't patch me up all good and stuff. And we're staying at a hotel, like uh, not far off the base or whatnot. And Rob doing his best, just like we we kind of tried to like mask it behind us. Like we was just like that happens. Let's just go home. Let's just go home, and then we'll continue from there. But like we were going out with not nothing extreme crazy, the normal us going out, nothing crazy, but we really didn't talk about it. We we didn't talk about it. We was like, just go home. So let's get to being home. Uh we get home, and like I said in the last episode, I did not want to do a funeral service. They offered all of those things, but I was like, no, I didn't want to, only because I didn't want to deal with it more than once i felt like at that time i felt like i dealt with it and it was over with so we left that in korea um but we get home and we were excited to come home at first but it's like when we got home we was like i don't really want to what's the word like participate i don't want the people because so it's it's like 50 yeah. 50. so i believe we put on social media, you know, uh, 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 what well, we told, we said what happened, kind of what know? happened, like a snippet of what happened. Everybody's not on social media People, and everybody don't follow everything that we say every time that we say it. So when we get home, there's still people who are kind of still close to me who are still like, Hey, how's Tootie? How's the baby? You get a whole bunch of how's the baby and how's Tootie. And I'm like, well, Okay, they don't know what's going on, but I don't want to, I don't want to open that wound back up. So yeah. a lot of people I lied to just so I could feel better about the situation. So temporary patch. Yeah. So I would say, oh, she's good. Everything is good. And then, you know, so we don't have to really talk about that. Because if I say what happened, I, they're going to ask what happened. And now I got to respill, go through all of that all over again. Cause I can't just be like, oh, she lost the baby. They're gonna be like, oh, what happened? And then the one thing that I didn't want to talk about, now here I am talking about it. So a lot of people I did lie to. And then people who knew, you know they kind of like tiptoed around yeah, us a little bit. I get it. And I get it. They don't know but what then I saying. don't I don't kind of I don't agree with it in a way. Like, I get it. Hey, Tony, I get it. I don't agree with it. So I can remember, like like Rob said, he was lying to people, but I was pretty much in a shell. I was at the house. Like, I was, um, like, I would stay in the room. I would sleep, like, all day. I would be up all night, but I would sleep all day. And when I say all day, I mean, I probably wake up, like, 12, 1 o'clock. Part it, of that is because we came from Korea and the yeah. time difference is retarded. So I would sleep. And then, like, I would get up, get myself together. In the first couple of weeks, I was trying to, like, get myself 
together. But then it got to the point where I was just getting up every day in motion. I didn't go to a shower. I didn't go anywhere. I was just like sit in the bed with this blanket, probably go use the bathroom, wouldn't eat, with nothing. And I knew it was something different because I didn't get, a, I wasn't even rushing or trying to get a ride to go to my mama. Like I normally when I touch down, I'm like, where my mom at? I'm trying to be with my mama house, my grandma house, where my mama at. So situationships, um, things that happen. So people, I had, not just I was pregnant, I had at least two relatives and like a couple of friends that we all were pregnant at the same time. So then I got to, I'm not avoiding it, but I got to kind of like deal with it. And it, it's hard to deal with it. Um, and as far as like particular instances, I can remember being at the house and I'm, now I'm about to talk about how certain people awareness in a sense, like how you, make people feel whether you intentionally know it or you don't know it. So there was this uh, incident where I was at the house and I'm, I'm chilling or whatever. And I'm not going to call any names because I don't, I don't want to put nobody out there. Y'all know social media can be cruel to people, but I can remember sitting at the house and I get a, a text from somebody and they're like, Oh, um, you must be mad at such and such because you've been home. And I've been home now for about two weeks, about two, three weeks. And they're like, you must be mad at such and such because you ain't, you know, came to see them or something. And I'm like, first of all, the out here, okay? It still has to be can shipped. I, can I intervene on that one yes, time? Yes, go ahead. For everybody who's in the military, y'all all feel me. Military people, military spouses. And this is for all the friends who have military friends and military spouses when we come home on vacation slash leave we are traveling thousands and thousands of miles to come home we a lot of times we don't have our vehicle we have to get a you know rent a vehicle or whatever the case may be borrow vehicles we can't see everybody we can't go to everybody's house individually you guys all know where we live or where we're staying it'll be easier for everybody who's already in Columbus or whatever city you're in to just go visit that person. Y'all want us to y'all want us to fly thousands and thousands and thousands of miles <laughs> and then you want us to come see you guys individually and then get pissed off when we don't. Even though you guys all know when we coming home, how long we going to be home and what it took for us to get home. I'm sorry. It's just frustrating. Okay. Anyway, um I got a message and it was like, you must not like somebody or you're not F actually say you're not effing with them or something. And I was like, why would you say that me and the other person got to a conversation? Like, why would that come up? And then all of a sudden I get this message and I would not kid. And this is, these are family members, y'all. I get this message that says, well, we lost somebody too. And da, 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 da. And that at the moment, I sucked it up at that moment. I was like, let me just, Maybe they don't know how to deal with what I'm going through. But then as time passed by, I had to realize that was really selfish. Like that was really darn selfish to say, to make to make me feel like, you know, you had a loss, but it's not like nobody else had a loss. And I don't feel like you should just be in the house or whatever is going on. So I, I masked that up. I can remember going to see this person and whatnot. You know, just putting on this, I guess this this mask, like, you know, like, it's cool, whatever, you right. Like, that that was real. Like I say, I didn't realize it at the moment until I got myself into counseling, which we'll talk about later. But that was really selfish. Um, I had uh, some people that tiptoed around me in two different ways. One, I could understand about, because there were baby showers happening and, and things uh, going on. and some people wouldn't even give me the opportunity to say or us the opportunity to say that we didn't want to come. And some I could understand because they would be like, I don't want to bring up any, you know, emotion and things like that. And I just feel like you should you should give somebody the opportunity to say whether they want to participate in something or not. So for some things I didn't get a chance to. And at, in the end, I was just like. 
Well, dang, like it made me feel like the the it person. Like I felt like the it girl for the longest. I didn't get invited to baby showers. And let's just take babies things out of it because I can I can this much understand why you wouldn't invite me. It could be a sensitive or targeting issue for me. Triggering, I'm sorry. But let's talk about all my social friends and stuff. It's it's things going on. And I'm just like, well, damn. They used to fuck with me back then, but what about now? Like, I just didn't, I didn't get it. And, and it it separated some things for me. And I, and I have this mindset that distance makes the difference. Like, get married, have a baby, move away, have some traumatic happen in your life. And you're going to see um, what people are really, really there for you. I will tell y'all right now, there are some people I have not heard from since May of 2019, since I got back. I'm going to say before May. And when I was overseas, um, I was making the effort to, and Rob is my witness, I was staying up late on weekends just so I could call back to the States, FaceTiming these so-called friends or whatever. And I'm staying up on the weekends or I'm staying up, um, I'm waking up early. I would get up early to call some people, you know what I'm saying? And I just felt like, let me do this because I'm over here. I'm over here in this new country and the time difference. But now that I, after counseling or during counseling, I thought about it. Well, shit, they got to, they can do it too, you know? And it just, I wasn't getting what I was putting out. And after going through what I went through to this day, there's some people I haven't heard from. There's people who don't even know where we live. Yes, that and they do in the same city. Years. Yeah, and it's like, um, and I'm not mad at nobody, but it's just like an awareness thing for me. Um, types of situationships that I don't feel like no person should have to deal with, especially when you call somebody your friend. And the, and let's not even put the title best in front of it. <sighs> Took it to a whole new level. I expect more shit from you if you say best. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry because, but um, seriously, though, I'll just decide that right there really may uh, change me a lot as a person. Um, the people that you do see me with sporadically or more often, those people have been there for me in ways, in simple ways. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I get a message from somebody and they're like, hey, I get a message from uh, Sharonda. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. I'm sitting at home, you know, at the table. She walks in the house with a gift bag, you know, candles, socks, an Avengers a uh, color book, you know, just simple things, you know. I love it. I can't, I can't show how much I appreciate. You weren't supposed to say names. I ain't gonna say names of bad people. Mm. I can't show five other ways to show how much I appreciate that. Or like when I um was at home after we moved into our house, and I was here for a while, and I just didn't want to do nothing. But I got this girl that I met. I need some tissue. I got this girl that I met in um, overseas, and to me, um, I don't, I understand it because sometimes as these these military spouses and these other people, you have to learn to bond with these people a little quicker than you would regular people, or I'm gonna say anybody not military because you don't have any family or anything around. And I know I like I like uh, gatherings and holidays and stuff like that, but I'm back home, and it takes for somebody I met three years ago to come to my house and be like, come on, let's get out the house and let's go here. Let's do that. And, or whatever. And the only reason I get emotional about this is because like I said, I did not like, or do not like, I ain't gonna say do not like no more. Cause I've established where I am with people in my life, but don't make nobody feel, or when they go through something, don't make nobody feel like, you don't want to be around. Even if you don't know what to say, just say, I don't have the words. I, I don't know what to say or send a message. I'm just checking on you. I just wanted to see if you needed something. Um, anything, but not, not talking to somebody, especially after they go through something. Then they're sitting there like, well, what did... For a minute, I'm sorry, excuse me, for a minute, I felt like I did something to people, but I didn't do nothing. And I used to, I even was reaching out even past that. But I ain't going to be begging for nobody to be friends or to 
care about me. I had to realize that I valued my friendship with certain people a different way more than how they valued it with me. And I'm not, I'm not mad about it. Like I said, I get emotional because I'm thinking about like just sitting around and like, dang, the help of the help live out of town. She came through here. She came through here. No text. No, you meet me halfway. No, nothing. I'm just like, oh, okay. It 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 just happened a lot like that. I don't got friends like that, so I'm sure. <laughs> Rob does have friends. Um, Not like that. I don't, I'm I'm fine, baby. You right, side. Brittany. And I'm, I'm sorry for y'all that just joined. This is a uh, interaction uh, episode. If you would like to uh, join the live, let me know. Um, like I said, I won't, I'm not going to call names of people that have um, given me disappointments, but I will praise those that have done like great things or or been still there, whether it was emotionally um, sitting on the phone with me, anything like that. Um, Brittany is somebody. I know Brittany, our dads grew up together and I can go back through my Facebook messaging and just look at uh, anything, every time we had a milestone or something, you know, Brittany would send a message. So shout out to Brittany for that. Rob, you don't know Brittany. Oh, this is a different Brittany. <laughs> yeah, it's a different like, Brittany. Brittany and her dad. <laughs> no, it's a different Brittany. Um, yeah, uh, some um, people that I will shout out, like Brittany, um, and Sean always reach out and checks out. Tasha's going to reach out and check on somebody. Uh, I said Fan Sean, didn't I? Um, my other Brittany's gonna reach out and check out, check on me. Amoy, <laughs> she lives up the street, but regardless of where she at, she's gonna check in, see how I got things going. Jessica's gonna reach out to me. And, and again, I can't, I can't express how much a lot of stuff means to me. Like, an example, we ain't even got here yet, but coming home from the hospital and the boys in my house, this girl was coming to my house, washing my clothes, cleaning my kitchen, you know, just, just things, you know. And like I said, feel free to chime in if need be. Well, I'm just going to make y'all join this live. Um, I didn't want to get emotional, but I did because I, I, I didn't want to give y'all, the last one was a tearjerker and the next one's going to be even more of a tearjerker. I was trying to have some level ground in between, but you know, the whole process of every part of what you go through is emotional, right? But as a person going to um, therapy and everything, I have definitely changed. Um, my mind said, I'm, I'm not gonna stress about it. I'm not gonna go crazy about anything. All I can do and care about is what I got going on, my future goals, and what this man right here got going on next and what we trying to do. I may seem like I'm standoffish. I'm not. Those that know me know I'm not standoffish. I just got a goal in my head. I got a goal that I'm trying to get to. If I say I can't do something, not because I ain't got it. I got it. I just have a goal I'm trying to get to and I'm trying to accomplish right now. <clears throat> speak <laughs> this doesn't affect me that much as far as why not situationships because it's always been the same my situationships is just the art my my army thing is what it is it, it bothers me when you know i'm overseas and people are like oh when you come home we gotta link up blah 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 and then when i get home we don't link up and then like right like in a year when it's time for us to leave yeah, we're leaving soon. Like, oh man, we ain't get to link up. Well, bro, I've been here for three years. We're leaving soon. I'm kind of excited about it. Kinda, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna lie about it. I'm kind of excited because I'm not worried about those friendships that I have. Those friendships that I have, they got passports, so I'm not really concerned about missing, you know, out on anything. There's a lot more than the Tri City area, Columbus, and Phoenix City. So, um. Yeah, Mika says she's on. She understands you. And shout out to Mika. Uh, Mika has always been there since I met her in 2015. 
you know, since the start of my journey, um, since my uh, joining of Key, uh, everything. And shout out to her because she made me some dope brownies before I left Augusta. So what? what? <laughs> Tore them up. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to my Mika Boo. She'll always check in on me. We don't talk every day, but when we do talk, it's not like we skip the beat or anything like that. There was somebody who reached out to me in my inbox and wanted to express um, something that they 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 went through. And I don't want to call myself inspiration to nobody, but that that is a word that she used because she had just recently went through something about two weeks before my first episode. As a matter of fact, a week before my first episode. Mm-hmm. Oh, the girl felt, who said, okay. I know yeah, and she, she expressed herself. Um, but overall, uh, again, and I'm trying to get some people some time. I keep getting messages like I'm driving and other stuff and they want to join in. But just be <sighs> mindful of your friends, your strong friends. I consider myself the strong friend. I'm always checking on somebody and trying to do for somebody. But at my time of weakness, I didn't get, I didn't receive what I was given out. And I'm going to say this, like when you're, you're, when you're young and people like when you're having kids and stuff, that, yeah, that question kind of goes over your head. But then like after you went through like what we went through, and the miscarriages and stuff. Um, at some point, that question, honestly, it's nobody's business, really. It's, to me, it's just like asking, when are you and your partner going to get in bed and they're going to get to this point where the blood reaches? Yeah, I ain't got time for all that. Like that That's really where it's going. But just be mindful of asking people. I think it's become so trendy and so common of a question to ask and people feel like it's not. <laughs> it's not. Um, hey, Laurel. Hey, Laurel, <laughs> it's not disrespectful, but in a in a sense, it's some it's personal. It's personal. Some people don't want to be don't want kids. Some people don't see themselves as a mother or a father, you know. And until it happened to us, the question is sensitive. And then sometimes it's just it, it aggravates me because it'd be like people that ask, and I'd be like, I know this helpful seeing my posts because we've been very public with everything that goes on. But it just leads me to my little saying that black people don't like to read. They just see a post and like it. You know, so just think about that when you're going over to people asking them when are they going to try. Maybe they mentally are done. They're mentally drained and they're mentally tired because it it can get to that point and whatnot. Oh, (laughs) it can get to that point. What did you want to say, Rob? You already said it, that you can't, you know, even people who don't publicly... You never know what somebody's going through, basically. And especially once we start, once y'all start getting older or around our age or whatever, and people don't have kids, maybe they did want kids, but they can't have kids, but don't want to speak on it or whatever, whatever. That's a very sensitive. Very sensitive area. And I know I don't like to be sad all the time. I really don't. I, I really try my best to have a good spirit. It was real. I wasn't even feeling my birthday this year, but shout out to everybody that came through because I actually enjoyed myself. Man, I'm not even in the Christmas spirit, huh? I just Google how many people are in Puerto. Oh, uh, I'm not even in the Christmas spirit, but I'm trying to, I'm not in the, the, the spirit that I normally am. If you ain't noticed, I really have changed as a person. I just really have. And I used to sit there and say like, oh, I can't wait to get back to being me. Ain't no getting back to being me. This is a new me. Like I got to get used to the new me. And I would force it. I was trying to force it um, with certain things. Your and, birthday and was lit, though. It was. I had a good time. I, I was. Yeah, it was, Tori. I was trying to force being a different person. And, and I, I want to say, uh, touch on this right here. Don't be mad. Certain people, when you see me with somebody else, and, and you feel some type of way about it. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna say this. I, I had a couple of messages, I done showed Rob messages where people are pissed off and they're mad about small things. Maybe I went to Walmart with a boy, or Amoy. I went to, yes, and I really had people, at least three or four people that was like, you always with her, mm, your new friends is this, your new friend is that. Well, what do you want? What do you want me to do? 
I don't feel like I put her on a pedestal more than anybody else, but no, she's just there. I, she just there. Like even when I say there, I mean like I, I cannot answer my phone, and knowing that I just went through something, she know my address. She's gonna come over, or pretty much all my friends are Rob's friends on social media. They reach out to him. She's gonna reach out to him. That girl and Brittany gonna reach out and find a way. So, to I, I just don't understand why people feel the need to make it like a competition. Like everybody can be can be friends, you know. And I just don't get the whole why you with her type deal. Like I don't understand you. No, y'all females is just messy. They messy. I'm not messy. Females is messy, man. It, it just didn't make any sense. I'm gonna give y'all a few more minutes. I can on hang this. out with my with my friends. I cannot hang out with my friends. Wait a minute, you need to talk about your friends and the friends that you do got in this whole city. Like, did any of your friendships change? Did your friendships change with like like do y'all talk about? I don't know. No, so we're different than y'all. So what happens like when stuff like this happens? I mean, every incident that we had, yes, my friends, the people that I actually hang around are, they kind of tiptoe around it, but then they'll mention it and, you know, they'll, we'll have our, our moment, our t five, 10 minute moment, whatever it is. Hey Rob, I'm, I'm sorry for whatever happened. You don't deserve this, whatever, whatever. And then we get back to what we're doing because I don't like to feel one. I don't like sympathy. I don't like sympathy from people. So one thing I'm not going to do is bring it up. And that's the reason why I don't. When people say, you know, is everything good? Why I would lie? Because I don't want sympathy. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I don't want none of that. And I don't want the mood, the vibe to change. So, you know, we say what we got to say. And then, all right, back to 2K or back to these, <laughs> to these games or whatever it is. I don't, we say, after we say what we got to say, I'm done with it. I don't want to talk about it no more. We good. And that's how it is. It's even like that with my brothers, you know. After every incident, eventually, you know, if we're out of town or overseas or whatever, they're gonna call me. They're gonna see if I'm all right. But after we, you know, talk about it, we might make some jokes and then try to bring the vibe back to what it was. But I think when it comes with my family, we're all like, we're not emotional like that. Like when my mom passed, we all took it differently. But we're all kind of like the same. Like we don't want. To dwell on we don't want to dwell on it. We don't want. We just want to be happy. We just want to be happy. Does anybody have any questions? Normally on Sundays we get more participation. I know it's the beginning of the week. Oh, it is Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. We couldn't do it yesterday. Um, we got stuck in traffic coming back from Louisiana. We were supposed to get back at like four, three or four, and we got back at yeah, seven. got back at seven. So if anybody has any questions. Go ahead and put them out there because I'm not going to keep you guys long. Um, yeah, that was about 30 minutes. Would you want to do that anyway? Yeah, I didn't want to keep nobody long. I just wanted to, you know, let people know to not, um, to be kind of cautious of your, your friends that don't have kids or your friends who are trying to conceive, you know, don't just jump in there with this question. I don't care how blunt you are, if you are the blunt person, but it can be triggering to some people because you don't, you never know what they're going through, you know? So, um, yeah, any questions? I'm going to stay up. We're going to stay up probably like another uh, 10 minutes and then um, we'll blab a little bit. Stay up another 10 minutes and then we'll let you guys have it. And we got to prep for the next episode, which I'm thinking it's going to be an hour and a half. An hour and a half? We got to start the joke at 6 then, bro. We can start 11 at a time, but our next episode will be longer. So, again, anybody has any questions? Hey, Meg, feel free to ask whatever you want to ask, because most of the time we cannot. I try to look at the questions and what y'all have to say. Um, y'all are asking, but I can't get into it because we're trying to get... Uh, the story across the storyline across so ask if you need you can ask questions pertaining to IVF um, the clinic that we use process how are we now how many dogs we got you know you can ask whatever you want just trying to basically this was like an intermission episode 
but I still wanted to put that out there. Shout out to my friends, though. I love y'all. Thank you, Tori. And y'all need to get at Tori for all of your needs. Tori is like the goat out here. Okay. You didn't tell them what kind of needs. Like that's very graphic broad. designs, flyers. She gives cir cricket classes. Is it cricket or circuit? It's a cricket. Oh, cricket. She gives that's classes the with the right cricket. There. You know, Tori the goat. She is the goat. Make you a banner. All types of stuff. She, she can do it. Ain't nothing to it. Tori can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Who said I'm late? But hey, y'all. Hey, would you still recommend IVF to other couples? Absolutely. I would recommend it. Yes. IVF and IUI. I would recommend IVF. Um, but I would say amongst that, know, your do name? your research and know what your underlying issue is before you just go into it with these doctors and let them do everything um know just know problem. know what you got going on with yourself first know your issue and just don't don't let the doctors just give you anything right like ask questions ask 101 questions be in control whenever, of your process whenever they are trying to prescribe you these medicines ask what these google. medicines are for google what these medicines are for what are they supposed to do or are they just how is them? it to help you why is or, it helping you yeah uh, to save you money because it's an expensive it's process. Expensive. And some stuff you don't need. A lot of stuff you don't need, uh, depending on your issue. Meg asks, what is IUI? All right, so IUI is a process where... Um, what does it stand for? Do you know? I don't know what it stands for. Look it up. So I can tell you what it does. So basically, they... um, I think your eggs don't... Let me not get it mixed up. I just know it's like turkey basin. It's turkey basin. Basically, they take the semen... You're on the bed and then they put the semen in you um, in hopes of the semen in the egg fertilizing opposed to IVF where they have to take my eggs out. They have to give me medicine, take my eggs out, uh, take his semen. They have to fertilize them, you know, under the microscope or whatever, freeze my eggs and then put my eggs back in me. Mine is a lengthy process. I do know that IUI costs around four to six hundred dollars. I think here in Columbus, it's about four to five hundred dollars. So it's very least expensive. If that was an option for me, I would have done IUI. Yes. Basically research, Tony. Research. Because after the first the first round of IVF that I did in Korea, we didn't research. We just took heed of it. But every time I proceeded, I started asking more questions. And then I learned like, oh, I didn't need this. So I would ask my mama, what is this medicine for? And when she tell me. You know, in particular, I asked the doctors, what is this for? Is it going to help or not? So just touching back on the IVF they can process. Keep them forever, can't they? The eggs they took, how long can they keep them? Would you have to go through the process again if you were able to go back to Korea? Okay, so what happened, um, Jalisa, what happened was I did it in Korea. They took out like 60 something eggs. I have them there and they're frozen. There's a fee that you pay every year. You can have your eggs frozen for up to 20 years, I believe. I got like 50 four left i think like 54 left over there they're still there i'm actually thinking about destroying them only because i have eggs here in the united states as well and i got about 30 something here in the united states my fear of not destroying them is that if i don't you know talk to them and it's been so long that they're gonna use my eggs and put them in some career lady and i got a kid right here that i don't know about but um um, the answer is you can keep them 20 keep years them as or long as, as long as you want. As long as you pay the fee yearly, yearly or, or, high, or annually, whatever um, they got. And she wouldn't have to start over because the majority of the process is getting the eggs out. You have to mature the eggs or develop the eggs, mm -hmm. the eggs out, uh, uh, fertilize the eggs, and then... That's that's the, the process. And yeah. then the last step is putting the egg back, back in, in her. That's the easy part. So that's where she's at now. When if well, well, if she was able. To if do I was it, able to do it again, do it I again. would just have to put an egg in. Yeah, me, but I can't. I don't have a. I don't have all that no more. So yeah, but it's it's lengthy when you do it that way. Anybody else have anything? So the difference between IVF and IUI is basically IVF is basically what I just said. You gotta you gotta. Uh, 
stimulate the, the mm -hmm. eggs, take the eggs out, fertilize the eggs, put the legs back in. The IUI is basically what you see on TV when people try to... Turkey base. Yeah, turkey base. Yeah. They're not doing anything with the eggs. They're just putting sperm in you to decrease the distance that the sperm has to travel to get... Right. ...to fertilize or whatever. Oh, wait. So the ones that they have are fertilized already? Yes. yes. So, Max, so the eggs, when they took my eggs out and they took his, his I had to baby go, butter... do my thing. They and are all for so what they do is they they have this little tool thing under a microscope that they put the eggs on and then they put the the butter baby the baby butter with it right. And that's what you're calling it, baby butter. Yeah, the other word just seems okay. so gross. Got okay, so butter. they put the baby butter with it and then they let them they give them like three to five days and see which ones um actually fertilize, which they ones the baby yeah which baby butter got into you know what I'm saying the ones that didn't make it they dispose of them so all of my eggs. In Korea and in the United States are fertilized. And like I said, I'm a, matter of fact, I'm going to hit them up tomorrow about <laughs> getting they, rid of them eggs. They pick I just, the best one. They pick the best one. So that you, has the best chance of yeah. survival. Success. Yeah. All the mine are fertilized. Yeah. So and that was that's what makes it so different, I'm going to say, or, or still the same or still within our genes of having a baby because it's all us. I'm I'm glad that I was able to produce eggs. I'm glad that his sperm count was, dang, I said it. His count was not low because when those things happen, then you get into the, the era where you have to search for an egg donor, you know, and big ups to the women that can give away eggs, like all praise to y'all. And they ask me all the time because I produce so many and they're giving like $3,000 an egg. They're like, hey, do you want to donate eggs? If that egg had no genetic connection to me, I would give it away. But I just can't knowing that it's going to match up with somebody else's baby butter. And then that child is a part of me. That's my child somewhere. Well, I actually, just it doesn't go with somebody else's baby butter because they're already fertilized. Well, mine's already fertilized. I'm saying right. if we didn't fertilize them and somebody else did, like I just can't do it. I, I can't even give away a frozen one now. It And we talked about this. It's, it, it was a quick like. 30 second combo. Um, yeah, I can't do it. Yes, 3K. They're giving 3K or more for eggs because some women can't produce eggs. But I personally can't. I can't do it. I thought about it. I prayed about it. I want to help, but I just can't knowing that that's my kid somewhere. Yeah. Any more questions on anything? Anything. I'll let this finish up and then. Then we'll finish up. Um, we got like 42 minutes. I'll probably stop it at 50. They 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 started off asking some good questions. They did. But I think just it's it's Monday, so you no know, different day of the week. Would you all be able to give away some eggs if possible? Like, let's just say hypothetically, I needed some eggs. Who you talking to? The people. <laughs> <laughs> Would y'all be able to, could you see yourself doing that? Because I, and I, I thought I was selfish for it, but, you know, I had to deal with my own feelings about it. Make sure nobody else asks anything else. I don't know this. Hmm. I know you give me one, girl. True, true, true. True, true, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing where it's a stranger. And honestly, um, to my family, yes, with someone random though. Nini, I know you would. Thank you, Tenacia. I don't need them now. If I wasn't, if my two's one block, we probably have like four or five over here right now, but. Uh, no, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'm not doing it. You must go get a vasectomy. Something. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I just, and then we were talking before we started this episode, we were like fixing dinner. We was like, next year is going to be 
a whole good year for us. I would have it would have to be someone I know the background of. That's a hard decision. Yeah, it's a very hard decision. But you don't you don't really get that option. But not yet. You tell them that you you're gonna give it away. They don't. You don't get that option to know who it is. You know, so you won't know until you see a kid that looks just like your kid. Right. Like, who's your daddy? <laughs> How were you created? Who made you? Next year is definitely gonna be our year. But yeah, we were talking about be it before free. we before we were um when we were fixing dinner. So we were like, you know what? Next year is gonna be a good year. We leaving up out of here, trying to travel the world some more. Um Rob's gonna be about done paying off his car. He's definitely down there. Um just just to get away and to do some new things and uh speaking it into existence, hoping that what we are manifesting is coming. And I, I can say this like every time something comes up with IBF or before we get started on it or transfer an egg, we are the most at peace. We are never on pins and needles. I know I'm not, but like when it's actually time to do the transfer, we're never on pins and needles. It's like we go in there and we're like, we finna be pregnant in a few days. And I cheat. I ain't gonna lie. I cheat. I take a, a pregnancy test three days after. <laughs> I take a test three days after that thing be like positive. It's gonna but... be positive for like 10 days, regardless if she takes a pregnancy test or not. I still do. And so then after like... that 10 days, I still take it. It's like, why are you taking the pregnancy test? Manifestation. You have to speak it there and have faith the size of a mustard seed, he says. Okay. That's all you need. Oh, yeah, my mama says she's going, yeah, it's on the way. Overseas? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. We got like four more minutes. So if there's any question that anybody has, feel free to ask now. Like I said, this was an intermission episode. You can ask anything pertaining to IVF, infertility, our journey, what we got going on, how we feel, a question that you want to know about yourself in particular. Um, just uh, ask away. Because next, I'm not going to do it next week. But the next episode, I might have some other guests um, that I need to add to here because it's, it's different perspectives of the story. You're going to get my version of what I know. You're going to get Rob's version of what he experienced going through it. Um, you're going to get my mom's, you know, where are you? I won't know until probably, I would say March, April. I don't know where I'm going. Good chance it's Germany, I'm Laurel. Really looking forward to Germany. That was our one through five pick. If I go to Germany, a lot of people go visit. So, so they say. Wait a minute, but Laurel, I'm trying to come there before I leave. So send me a message. She drank Hennessy. Mm -mm. That's dark skin people drink. <laughs> dark skin. <laughs> she drank Hennessy. I can't. Yeah, so the next episode, um, I'm going to have it timed off uh, sessions to where, like I said, and we're going to get into a lot of y'all know what we just went through earlier this year. So we're going to get into the details of that, but it's going to be different versions, you know, because I didn't get to see everything and some things I couldn't see because I couldn't see. So, yeah, never. I'm shipping sincere to y'all. Uh -uh. She said she's in. She's on Jen these days. Jen. I don't know which one is worse. Seagrams? Please don't say Seagrams. Ooh, like, Jesus. That's what my daddy used to drink back in the day. That's like grown folk drink. Ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, and I will say this. There are... Um, I want to get... I don't know how I forgot about this, but um, I will say this in particular. There are some people who don't see you do good, who can't stand to see that this person has this going on, whether they acknowledge it or not. OK, um, they have a way of 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 downplaying or not downplaying or That's bringing some type of downplaying the word mm -hmm. on, on the happiness or, or whatever. Like I say, small victories with us, like we happy with the victory um, that we got so many eggs out or or. Whatever it is, we happy with an, an uh, OB appointment. And people will bring that down. And I'm going to just say this in particular. 
Because I couldn't, and I'm going to put this out there. I'm going to say it. So you stressed out, L'Oreal? <laughs> I couldn't block the person on or people on YouTube, okay? I can only like let them comment on my videos. And I'm going to say that because I can't even see who watching my thing right now. I see some viewers. But uh, the where I am in life, I just feel like if you sincerely don't like me, if you sincerely don't like me, you don't get to witness all of these blessings and this good stuff that God is raining down over here. You don't get to witness this. For why? For what? So you can go back and talk junk about it? No, you don't get to witness none of this. I don't just delete you. I block. For, like, seriously, for what? Okay? Because I don't know why people wouldn't like me anyway. I think they don't like me because of him. But anywho, with that being said, um, hopefully... What does that mean? Hopefully this message gets through. But yeah, like I ain't forgot the point of what I was saying with that. I really did. What was I going? I don't know that people I who forgot. don't like you still follow you. For what? But y'all try to downplay it, yeah, and I'm a yeah. uh, yep, and I'm gonna correct it every time it comes up. I, I I have had a moment where I've said, you know, I'm excited about every time every time that we have um anything going on with infertility, we reach the milestone of what's about to happen. I'm excited, and I want to share it. The people I'm close to or whatever. But one time I shared it, and then all of a sudden I get a call from oh, somebody Lord, else, no, no. and they was like, "Don't talk to her about your stuff because she over here talking about badness." And I'm just like, Bro, "Like what the fuck?" Like, I just, I don't even know you, and I love you, girl. I love you too. That's an old friend of mine. I know who it is, Robert. Oh, so you know her? Yeah. Okay. You're trying to be modest, <laughs> but no, like for real. So I just that's a friend of mine, <laughs> and it's, so, it's certain people I don't like to be. I, I'm not secretive about our journey or nothing like that, but I've learned to be selective social with it because even in, in the the midst of just having the happiness going on, I can say something and Rob is my witness, and all of a sudden it's negative, or they like the only reason she doing IVF is because. This one was new. She had six abortions. I'm like, okay, where'd that come from? Anywho, but yeah. All right. Yeah, so last time, anybody has any questions? You got about 30 seconds to get it up there. We're going to end this little intermission episode. I just want y'all to be nice to the people that can't conceive or have an issue with conceiving or who've had miscarriages or not even that would have had a traumatic event happen in their life be mindful of those people's check on your strong friend don't leave them out don't forget about them text them go over to their house with some socks and a can everybody loves socks and candles go over there and take them something send them a nice message i don't care if you reverse what you said in the first sentence and put it at the last sentence let them know that you care show them some type of effort effort goes a long way distance makes a difference i don't care if you live here or you live far you live ajar and you live nar. I don't care, okay? Make sure that you reach out to them people. My friend live out the way in Huntsville and saw a snap I made and, and had a, the case sitting on my freaking porch when I got home. Just make sure y'all y'all strong friends, okay? Please do, please do, please do. All right, we got like 40 some seconds. I stopped at 55. Like a Bro, minute you, and a half. You said we had I know, right? Too. But they keep coming. I got a minute and a half, literally. Um, like a minute and 40 seconds. Get your questions in. Any last thing that you want to say before we sign off and um see y'all in two weeks again. Hey, everybody have your tissue and your wine for the next in the two weeks. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. We're gonna have some special guests at least. One, two, three, at least four special guests that's going to come on. Word? Yes. Well, three, because he ain't special. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got like a minute left. Thank you, P. Hello, mother dear. You ain't called me all day. She didn't call me, Rob. She probably sleep. Mm -hmm. No, okay. she had to go to work today. She bit off. Um, I'm just, I'm just, did she go to work today? Yeah. Well, she, she might be tired. She drove all day mm -hmm. yesterday. See, me and you were switching questions? on and off. She had to drive every time. Any more questions? And remember, after the next episode, there will be no more lives on Facebook. You will literally have to go to the YouTube channel. 
because it's going to change. Something's going to change and you're going to actually want to be following part of it. Yeah, you want to you're going to want to be a part of that journey. So I'll make sure I keep reaching out. During this week, I'm going to post some pictures and things that I've never shared with the world. Um, all the way up until this moment, I'm going to share those pictures with y'all. So you'll get to see some of those, the things that I went through. Shout out to Rob and his foreign fitness. If you haven't already go visit the website, frnlfitness.com. There will be new things launching this week, two new items. And also there will be a, a good column of two of pre-order items that I will have put out there for you guys trying to get y'all ready. For the spring, not even just the spring, but still some stuff for the winter as well. She needs the YouTube. Who needs the YouTube? Oh, um, on the page, um, on the NNA page, the page that you're on now, the YouTube channel, the link is on the YouTube. The link to the YouTube channel is on the page. Yeah, it's on the page. So it's what is the NNA? The NNA page, the page that you're on now. The YouTube. Yeah, it's NNA channel. Yeah, so go there and you'll be able. I can tell you exactly where it is right now. The hit? No. Oh, yeah. Shut up. That's you. Yeah, as soon as you look in the about section, you'll see the link to the YouTube channel right there. All right. Um, love y'all. Peace, love, happiness, all that. Hey, Sam. All that good stuff. We will see y'all next week. Um, yeah, it was.